Hey guys, welcome to your very first Algebra 2 video. It'll be a very short one today to get started with. Properties of real numbers, and here we go. Um, they're going to basically ask you what kind of number things are today. You should have seen these before, like in uh, Algebra 1 probably, it may have been a while. But real numbers, all numbers are real except for the imaginary type, which we'll get to a little bit later this year. A real number is broken down into two categories. One is rational. The other is irrational. Rational numbers are any numbers that you can write as a fraction. Numbers like two-thirds, uh, four-fifths, even like five. Because you can write five, five over one, um, you know, ten over two. Anything you can write as a fraction is good. Decimals even, 1.25, 1.25 is really, you could write that as a fraction if you wanted to. Any number that either repeat, any decimal that repeats or stops is rational. So irrational is just the opposite. Irrational is numbers you cannot write as a fraction. Also numbers that do not repeat or stop, such as pi. That's the most famous one. Um, there's a number called E we'll get to a little bit later this year. And also the, the most famous kind also are any numbers that you take the square root that you can't take it. Like square root of 2, we don't know what that is. And if you punch it in your calculator, it will give you a decimal. But the decimal never stops, never repeats. Square root of 5. Any square root that you don't know. A square root of 4 would not be. That would be rational because it's really 2. And if it's irrational, that's all we call it. That's just, they're just irrational. Rational numbers, sometimes you can break them down even further into integers. Integers are numbers such as negative 4, negative 3. You know, you can keep going all the way to 0, 1, 2. And they go forever. Notice what's missing in that list. There's no fractions, no decimals. Um, they're really whole numbers and are opposites. You know, it keeps going this one direction. Two goes forever to the negative direction, forever to the positive direction, but no fractions, no decimals for integers. And we're going to break them down one more way and call them whole numbers. Whole numbers are integers, but they don't include the negative, negative ones. It's one, sorry, zero, one. They do start at zero. Two, three, four, and they continue forever and ever. Um, but they do start at zero, and again, no fractions, no decimals. It's a subset of the integers. Um, they all are integers, but they're specific kinds, only positive and zero. So today in your assignment, or tomorrow when you come into class, your assignment, we're going to work on um, graphing numbers on number lines and calling them what they are, what kind of numbers are they. So this first problem says just put these two numbers on a number line. Negative 5 fourths, you can either divide that by hand or no, it's negative 1 and 1 fourth or punch it in your calculator, you get negative 1.25, which would put it about right there, negative 1.25 or negative 5 fourths. Square root of 3, if you were to punch that in to figure out what kind of decimal it was, it's about 1.7 and it keeps on going and going, so it'd be about right there. And that's the kind of thing you're going to do tomorrow. Um, one more of these. Um, Number one here says graph all those numbers in a number line. The first one says negative 0.2, which is about one-fifth of the way to negative one right there on the number line. The next one says seven-tenths, which is most of the way to one. Negative one, obviously, is right here. Square root of two, if you punch that in, it's like one point, uh, I think it's 1.2. It's about right there on the number line. And then it says negative four. Negative four would be all about here. And then the second problem will be done. It says which list which list shows the numbers in increasing order? Um, the first list is out of order because that right there, the negative two, is the smallest number in the list. And all these lists have the same numbers. So I'm looking for a list that starts with negative two, which looks like it's going to be C. But let's check it out just in case. Um, and really, we're looking we're looking at negative numbers and trying to figure out which one is the smallest. Think about the absolute value. Like the absolute value of negative two is two which is the furthest away from zero of all the negative numbers. Next would be this one, negative uh, 3 fourths or negative 0.75, negative a half, and then it jumps to positive one and a half. And the square root of seven is like two point something. So that's definitely the biggest. So answers definitely see there. So that's the kind of problems you're gonna see tomorrow. Hopefully no big deal, just a review on number types. And um, you know, I'll see you there tomorrow and we'll work on some of these. And hope you had a great first day.